Hello. Hello you. Um, and welcome to another video. Tonight we are off to... Toledo, which is the brand new restaurant that's on the top of the new tower at Coronado Springs. Um, we've never been before, but we've been looking forward to this meal for a long time. Yeah. Like ever since they announced the tower um, and the restaurant, we, we've been wanting to go. We booked this 180 days mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. So we have high hopes. Can't wait to see those views. Yeah. Um, so let's go and check it out. See you in a minute. gonna oh wow yeah let's not get a drink yet oh wow that, that is a good view wow oh look and there's blizzard beach and then everest the nemesis down that end yeah that is something isn't it it's making me a bit nervous being this close to the edge. I really don't like it. I like the view, I just don't like the sensation of being up this high. Yeah, Everest over there somewhere, and where the finger is. Lizard Beach over there. I can't really see my finger on this screen. And then there's uh, Star Wars Land in that kind of area. The Tower of Terror. So we're in the Dahlia Lounge at the top of the uh, tower and uh, we're about to order some drinks. So lovely yeah. to come over. Hello. Hello, Susan. Hello. Hi. It's a lovely Susan who's going to be our hostess. I'm Susan. Yeah. Welcome to the Dahlia Lounge. Perfect. This is a lounge based off of the film Destino that Salvador Dali and Walt Disney worked together to create. Uh, cool. And so we call it the Dahlia Lounge because she's the main character of that film. Wonderful. So we have a great wine and motion system. So you are able to try one ounce, three ounce, five ounce, four. We do have extra additional wine in this list. Where they'll all come from California or Spain. We're mostly about the cocktails, hard liquor. So or wine and beer, not really for us. Beer, not as much. No. So our cocktails, we do have great, um, so gin is really popular right now right. in Spain. And they call them gin tonics. So we have a lot of gin based drinks, these first four. Wonderful. And then uh, if you like like a margarita, you might like the tequila daisy. It has a similar essence to that, a little bit later. And then a ala cream of Manhattan, if you like a strong drink, that one's really popular. It has Wonderful. a nice maple syrup in there. Um, and then if you like red sangria like I do, the sangria tinta. It's a red it's a red sangria with a little bit of orange liqueur from Spain, a little orange juice that's nice and refreshing, as well as our espumosa punch. If you like a fruitier drink as well, we use like a blackberry liqueur, some port wine. That one's really tasty as well. Okay, I think right. I'm gonna go for the punch. Yeah, let's Yeah, you it. sold me on the punch, Susan. <laughs> I want to try the Manhattan, please. You got it. Thank I'll you. be right back. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Susan explained where we are. So uh, rewind, watch that, and then we've got some drinks coming. I mean, it's a very nice floor. I mean, I don't often comment on floors, but it's <laughs> half stone, half wood, and then you still got the spectacular views, even if you're sat inside. Although there are people in the way, and there's a barrier. Thank goodness for the barrier. Thank God, yeah, for the barrier. <laughs> yeah, that was making me quite scared. And then that half of the bar, you've got those lovely little lights again. Oh. And then you've got the nice bar. Yeah. So we are having dinner just across the aisle at Toledo restaurant in 10 or 12 minutes time. Uh, I've no idea what's on the menu. I have looked. I've totally forgotten. Oh, I know this tapas. I know this squid. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, I know this chicken. There's always chicken. <laughs> I think there might be beef too. Probably. <laughs> we'll find out. It'll be out. a nice surprise. It'll be interesting to see what their allergy menu is because it's a brand new menu. So you'd expect it to be quite good. So let's see. But we're waiting for the drinks and the lovely Susan. Yeah. So opposite the Dahlia Lounge is Toledo. There it is. Tapas, steak and seafood. And we have dinner there now, so I'm going to go and check us in. So mine's a Manhattan. Oh. It looks... Uh, What's in a Manhattan? Oh, I you might bourbon. Be. <laughs> <laughs> bourbon, I think. 
It looks delicious. I'm drinking. Look, everyone. Ian drinks alcohol. Ian is drinking his first alcohol of the trip. Oh, that's really strong, it's, really, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> right, let me try it. Close your head off, didn't it? It's delicious. <laughs> it's so nice. I wish I'd got that. <laughs> Ian's got a uh, fruity. <laughs> Let's have a look. Look, he's got all the plants. <laughs> I had a sip earlier. I say earlier, 10 seconds ago. That's quite sharp. I can give it a sugar. Do you need a Rennie? It's one of my five a day. Let me try it. You're going to get a blackberry up your nose. Oh. Just lick my blackberry. Yeah, I'm not having that again. I'm not a fan of Disney cocktails. I said that on the way, the walk over. Yeah, but that's just a regular drink. I'm not a fan of cocktails at Disney because I find them a bit overpowering. I've never found one that I've really liked ever in any resort. Well, we'll work through the menu tonight. So. No, I'm just going to stick to regular alcohol, I think. Now I've got an opportunity to drink. It looked like a waitress walked past outside and walked through your ear. Yeah. Oh, so we're being led to dinner. Oh wow, look at that tree. That ceiling is amazing. Oh, how wonderful. Great, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I can think I can see our table in the middle of the, uh... yeah, this'll be it, won't it? Bloody hell. Oh no, oh no, thank God that was not our table. We're behind the wine room. <gasps> oh, where the blinds are. Oh. So we've been put in the naughty corner. <laughs> They always say the ugly people get put to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody rude, isn't it? And also, they've not even opened the curtains. I thought for a second it was that table over there in the aisle. Uh, that would have been bad. That would have been bad. Can, at least we can share the food with you here. Yes. Talk as much as we want. Yes. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. The tree in the, the tree in the uh, restaurant on the 16th floor. Delicious. Love that. Yeah. Just so you know, behind Dave is a little private dining room. And in many ways, it's like a soundproof booth because I can't hear any of those kids. So, hashtag winning. <laughs> right, waiting for the uh, allergy menu to arrive. So this is what my menu looks like. It's got, it's like a writing desk. Or David's got one, which is secret. I feel like it's a peek peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say anything on it. How do you know? How do you know what, which one's which? This one's cocktails. I've already found that one. Oh right. <laughs> this one is just a notepad. So the top one is. Starters. So it's a bit oh, that's the tapas. No, it's tapas. That's the tapas. Yeah, yeah, I think that might be tapas. And this must be the main menu. Proper food. Yeah. Allergy. Nice. Lovely. Cool. So there's the tapas. We've got mussels, tuna, potato omelette, anchovies, cheese, blue cheese with thick and honeycomb. Ooh. And uh, pepper stuff with fish. That sounds disgusting. There's also a charcuterie board for cheeses and a chef special for two. So we could get a few tapas. Have it's you seen them? It's a nice one. It's a chur chorizo. Where's the chorizo? Uh, oh. On about page seven. <laughs> oh, I've only got two, three pages. Oh, I missed some of the tapas. There's shrimp, chorizo, olives, uh, more peppers, octopus, and a uh, grand gratinado. In the main menu, we've got appetizers, we've got heirloom tomatoes, ham and melon, a salad, little, ooh, savoury churros, interesting, and tomato bread, lovely. Entrees, fish, scallops, steak, steak, chicken, chop, seafood. I'm basically just saying words. Ooh, sides of blistered shishitu peppers. Ooh, that sounds painful. Olive oil potato puree, yum. Roasted cauliflower with harissa vinaigrette. Oh my gosh. Potatoes bravas, beans and broccoli. And then desserts, I'm not even gonna look at it just yet. I think we're getting water for one, but we'll see. We can order another one. That's okay. She's wearing most of her food. Yeah, I noticed that. She's got <laughs> she's got some dinner medals down her front, isn't she, bless her. I'm gonna have the, there's a vegan plant-based seafood. It's a chef's vegan representation of classic seafood presentations, crab cake, calamari, scallop, citrus infused, sick couscous. Yeah, it's vegan. Nice. So I think I'm gonna have that. Oh. What kind of peppers are they? 
Um, <laughs> Shih Tzu. <laughs> oh, and that's a dog. <laughs> I don't know. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. We'll put a spelling of it on the screen now. <laughs> it's like bullseye. <laughs> Would you like some coke with your ass? <laughs> Uh, and I've got a sparkling water for one, sparkling water for one. You'd like two straws? <laughs> oh, they put the blind up. Oh. Told you it's looking good. That's our block over there. We live in that block. It's a good view, isn't it? So my hard cider has arrived. Hard cider, strawberry, do it your way. Product of Spain. And there's David drinking his first cocktail. And my big old drink of cider. Ooh. 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 It smells like cider and the strawberries. It's got a... <laughs> it's strong, but it has an aftertaste of... Uh, Strawberry chewits. It's like a strawberry chewit. You can have like a table of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> what are ones I don't really? Oh, yeah, because I don't like them. We'll see how this one goes. Oh, look at those birds! Look at the birds! Can you see the birds? There's the birds. Lovely. Oh, the birds! Are... The birds are doing a wave. David, how excited are you for dinner? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> so the food's arrived. David's stabbing the chorizo. That looks nice. And meaty. The omelette is teeny tiny. It's, it's as big as a man's finger, Who, if that man was not me. That's a tomato that you spread on the garlicky bread. Yeah. And that's delicious. char-grilled octopus on a bed of lentils and grass clippings and onion. It smells really nice. It does smell it good. It looks beautiful. And as if that's not enough bread for us, she's going to bring us more bread for something else. I can't remember what. So, let's dig in. David's putting the tomato spread on his bread. It's very red. Give that back to you. That's back to me. Like Chuckle Brothers, to me, to you. Tomatoes on toast. But when you put it on a tapas menu, it makes it posh. So I've just tried the potato omelette. It's layered potato wrapped in a bit of, I don't know, serrano ham, parma ham. It was very tasty. I only want to try the squid. They, oh, octopus. David, David's trying the octopus. Char-grilled octopus on a bed of lentils. It's delicious. Delicious octopus. And it's dairy-free. Lovely. I'm going to try the tomato bread, which smells delicious. It smells lovely. I think I might put a bit of chorizo on it as well. Knock myself out. Treat yourself. Tomato bread, nice. Potato wrapped in ham. What's not to like? That was a char grilled squid with lentils. David loved it. Good, you got another half of the squid there. No, it was a bit too chewy for me. Didn't like the flavour of it. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 on its own. On its own, it doesn't really have a taste. The sauce of it's okay. Lentils, yeah. Not loving it. View update. It's ten past eight. Sun's going down. It's pretty much gone down. We were saying yesterday, I was driving back from somewhere. It takes a long time for the sun to go down here in Florida. Then all of a sudden, it just goes dark really quickly. Um, and apologies that it's so loud in here now. And apologies that I keep burping. If you've enjoyed this so far, and who doesn't enjoy me chewing on a bit of octopus, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And maybe even dingle that bell so you know when the next one pops up on your interbox. Oh, so it's got dark since last time we filmed. Um, we've demolished the food. My favourite, I think, might have been that potato omelette, which is potato wrapped in serrano ham or parma ham. The chorizo was nice and spicy. Uh, the tomato bread, I found the bread a bit too hard, so I ended up sticking it in the uh, chorizo gravy, which was uh, quite delicious. And we still got quite a lot of tomato left. So the time is 8.24. 
Oh, the reservation was at 7. <laughs> Admittedly, we didn't get seated to about 7.15ish. So it's been an hour and 10 minutes and we've literally just had starters and they've still not cleared the table. Ooh. So I just went to the toilet uh -huh. and um, the urinal, so the whole wall is a window and the urinal looks out over the car park. Oh. It's interesting. I feel like a bit of an exhibitionist. Well, I don't mind, but yeah, it was really weird. Yeah, so I recommend going to the toilet on the 15th floor, the Grand Destino Tower. Well remembered. Getting better at that. So, um, anyway, that's toilet update. So David's main has arrived, and uh, I feel like we've just, it feels like you when you go to a quick service restaurant mm -hmm. and you try and grab a table that's someone before it hasn't cleared, because you've still got all the detritus. What the hell is that splat? There's someone dropped on that from a great height. <laughs> That, why is there only half a plate of food? <laughs> it's, it's art, isn't it? That's not art, is it? That looks like someone's arse. <laughs> so that's the vegan seafood on couscous. I'm just confused by that. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one. I'm not sure if I like it. Because that looks like a load of mushroom on top. Mushroom, a fake fish cake, a fish, a fish fake. Is that fake calamari? Oh no. It just tastes of batter. Batter? Batter. Roasted cauliflower, which is vegan. Or dairy free. Normally it isn't dairy free. David's also got some greens over there. So I've got chicken, crisps, chorizo, cauliflower. The couscous is amazing. Oh my God, if the best thing about a dish is a couscous, then you know there's something wrong. <laughs> Right, time for me to tuck in. This meal's not really my cup of tea, so um, I've not been able to finish it. I've had a good effort. So that was the, the fake scallop, the broccoli, that was the crab cake, which I'm not sure what, I think part of me, because I don't know what the actual ingredients are of the things, <laughs> it's a bit hard. It's really dicey to eat them. The couscous was really nice. And then they're the crispy uh, calamari. I'm just about to go into my chicken. And then look, that chicken is falling apart. Oh my Lord. Okay, I think I've definitely got a better deal than David. That chicken's wonderful. Chicken is delicious. And look, it literally falls off the bone. Look, 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 show, show. Falls apart. Wonderful chicken. It's bought by that mushy tomato thing. And I've got a load of crisps. So we've decided we're not going to have dessert. No. Um, and we'll probably, we've got stuff in the, the, the room, so we might have something there. Underneath the chicken, there's a tomato rice, which isn't very nice. It's neither tomato-y, it's kind of just mush. And what I thought was chorizo, it's just carrot. There's one bit of carrot. So I'm going to eat the chicken. I might have the crisps. The rice I'm not going to touch. So I've not finished mine. I can't eat the tomato mush. I don't really want crisps. Nothing wrong with the crisps, just don't, I'm, I'm not hungry enough for them. And, and I've eaten as much chicken as I can. Chicken was lovely. David's, not so good. And the cauliflower was a side order too far. Oh, so we wave goodbye to our table. The view this side, you can actually see Magic Kingdom fireworks, yeah, but, there. but there's such a reflection on the window. I'm not sure if they're gonna come out. They might see something around that area. Oh, and thunder. Or lightning. Oh, and over there you've got... That's Fantasmic. That's Star Wars. Fantasmic. There's... Oh, lightning. And then there's Star Wars land over there. Yeah, Batu. Illuminations and lightning. It's a mix of chatter, music, and the odd rumble of firework. Oh, lightning. So that was our review of Toledo in the tower. Mm, Coronado. Um, so yeah, a mixed bag. I don't think we really enjoyed it that much. It wasn't really our cup of tea. 
Um, my chicken was delicious. Yeah. It didn't really go with the mushy tomato and the potato crisps. Uh, Certainly not for the best part of $32. And my food, I just didn't enjoy it. I'm sure other people might love it. Um, but this was our experience of the restaurant. Yours might be different. And if you have a different experience and you, you some dishes you want to recommend, put them in the comments. Um, but we hope you find this video useful. Um, if you enjoy watching, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Thing on that um, tomorrow we're at Galaxy's Edge. Yes. We've got to go to Epcot yet. We've not yeah. been there. So make sure you follow along. And um, this is what's coming up next time. Magic Kingdom. Mm. It's an almost perfect wall of stitch. Now, I've got a question. Are these all your bitches? It's a bacon mac and cheese dog. That went down like a sack of poop. King of the people mover. That's my little top tip for shopping. A little bit freaky though. Don't open the fridge door. Well, there's mimosas with his breakfast. My David has a pee. And we're in the middle of a party. We'll probably end up on Space Mountain. What? Where's my seatbelt? Please step carefully. Get off. Oh, don't. I'm the crystal ball. That's my belly, David. I just had ice cream. It's making me want to go toilet. Ooh, well, the flippers. <laughs> Get off my land. Power couple. Love it. I'm going to put the pee in people mover. But that was a porky pie.